to the turnbuckle pad. And I got a pretty awesome faction that's been tearing up the Midwest scene pretty well. Say hello to Joey Roth, Jeff Troy, and Max Holiday. They are the Hollywood icons. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> How you the guys? Pleasure, the pleasure is a, the pleasure of course is every single one of yours. As always. Thank Thanks you. for coming out here, guys. I know you guys had a long drive out here just to do this. <laughs> well, Traffic. You were driving all the way from Hollywood? Yeah, you, you, it is kind of a long drive. You drove? I flew. Well, I, you took the private plane, didn't you? Mm -hmm. if, yeah, there's a bunch of little there. ones in the way. If, <laughs> son of a gun. All right, my bad. <laughs> Well, guys, we're glad you can make it. The fans get to see you entertain and get to see you do many things at a show, but now they get to learn more about you. So we have a few questions for you we'd like to find out a little bit about. Wikipedia. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Well, let's start off with the first one. How did the icon start, and how did the pinky race start? Oh, my God. Oh, were we just talking about this yeah, on the ride over? Yeah. Our flight? Whatever we did? <laughs> um, oh, I was waiting. You know what? Give this a rock. Very simple. The icon started a long time ago when I first broke into this business. I started wrestling and I had a tag team partner known as Tizzy, which was actually Max Holiday. Max went on to do what he does best and that has become Max Holiday. I did what I did and eventually a few years down the line, we decided to cross paths again. So it was myself, Max Holiday, and Johnny Draven. What we did is we saw how great we meshed how great our gimmicks are. It's not really a gimmick, it's our way of life. Yeah. So what we did is we wanted to give a wake-up call to the world of professional wrestling and we just wanted to show everybody how great we truly are. So what we did is we shared a peanut butter sandwich outside the police shop and started a band. <laughs> <laughs> Mine had jelly on it though. Yeah. Actually the pinky thing is a great story. Um, well, the question is, do we tell them, like, do we tell them the story we give everybody, or do we tell them the actual story? <laughs> <laughs> give us the real story. That's the question, really. Uh, yeah, so, well, I mean, the story that, everybody, that we give everybody is, I mean, this is sign language for small i, which is how we spell icons, so this represents icons. Uh, the rumor, the rumor is, uh, it also represents the shortcomings of a couple independent wrestlers on the Chicago scene. But that's a rumor. That's a rumor. That's a rumor. <laughs> well, yeah, purely yeah. speculation. Purely speculation. Purely the, speculation. The part. Not that we would ever know anything like that. No, we, not that we know anybody that knows anything like that. But we do read the bathroom wall, and we <laughs> do read quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. Pinky's raised. <laughs> sure, it's not a cheap shot. Some of the guys you might have seen in the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> well, everything we do is a cheap. <laughs> <laughs> anything that we have see. Have you not seen what we do? Uh, any, anything we see in the locker room is kind of cheap, other than us. End up going there. Well, I, you guys say you start off at three. When did you guys end up recruiting more people? Actually, I think the uh, first two recruits were uh, Big Pauly B and Jeff Troy. Right. Uh, Big Pauly B, the big money player of the game, and then of course your iconic god, Jeff Troy. Hmm. Uh, from there, I think it started. Uh, we had a talk with a friend of ours, and we decided it was time to grow the army. Uh, we were taking over everywhere. We were popping up everywhere. When you have a faction as the Hollywood icons, everybody wants to be a part of it. We had so many people going, we like what you do, we respect what you do, how do we become a part of it? So Max had the brainchild of spreading the word of the Hollywood icons, spreading it all over the United States. We guarantee you, this time next year, every single wrestling show will have an icon on it. We have our Southern Illinois chapter. We're working on an East Coast chapter. I personally am working on the West Coast chapter. We are gonna have icons flooding the market of the world of professional wrestling. Why do we have, why do we have, people so, why do we have so many people? Because we're the best. We have the best looking t-shirts, <laughs> we have the best looking valets, we have the best looking everything. I mean, everybody wants to be what we are. Just look at just look at the roster that the icons provide you. You have, well, you have myself, the marquee icon, Max Holiday. You have your iconic god, Jeff Troy. The sexiest man who's ever existed, Joey Roth. We have Mr. TCB, who's sitting on a shelf right now, Johnny Draven. We've just introduced his little brother, Ronnie. Uh, well, we have the general, or the genitals, we like to call him, Tristan Hayes. We also have the heavy artillery. We have the iconic machine, 
All right, Machine is a big name in Midwest professional wrestling. Okay, so you want to people want to come around here. They're gonna say, "Oh, the Icons. Why? We're not gonna take them seriously. They're they're a joke. They're this. They're that." But you know what? When you have a name like Machine backing you, I like to see you guys come up and uh, call us a joke now, huh? All these guys, you see right, you guys, you see right down here? You see right down here? Mm -hmm. This is going on a lot of message boards, right? And all these people down here are going to be saying a whole bunch of stupid things about us. But you know what? They don't have the balls to come say it to our faces. I would like just for one time, one time, for you to actually come to my face live and tell me what you really think about me instead of hiding behind little names. Well, you know what happens is they get on the keyboards, they get on the message boards, they get on Facebook, they get on Twitter, and they run at the mouth like they have diarrhea. <laughs> but once they come face to face with us, and this happened time and time again, how are you doing? It's fine. good to meet you. I love what you guys are doing. I love the t-shirts. I love the YouTube videos. I love everything that you do. They do not have the balls to honestly say what they want to say. But all these little people down here are all hiding behind fake names. We're not hard to find. No. Okay? No. I mean, this is serious right here. You want you want a damn shoot? I'm I'm shoot like hell. <laughs> You want to say something? Come on up and say something to me. I, I would respect you more for it, okay? But don't forget, you're going to tell me what you think of me. I'm going to tell you what I think about you. That's even if I know who you are, because remember, you pay to see us. Exactly. We don't pay to see you. Exactly. You don't, you don't know exactly how deep our, our roots go in to this wrestling scene that you all are huge fans of. But, but baby, you ain't seen nothing yet. We're only beginning. We're only a year in. The icons have only been around for a year, right? Year, year yeah. and a half out of year. A year. Yeah. Right. You, this is just the beginning. This is just, just the, 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 the base for your cake. Because see, we're gonna build this big cake. We're gonna put this nice icing on it. We're gonna decorate it real pretty, and then we're gonna throw it in your face because that's what we do. Why? Because we're icons. This next question is for Jeff, since considering he hasn't said anything since this interview started. I don't have to. They're taking care of it. Well, let me ask you, since you're uh, one of the newest people in the group, what do you like about being with the icons, and what don't you like about being with the icons? All right, what I like about it, I'm allowed to do whatever I want. They give me multiple just uh, outrageous things of Red Bull. I just, so much of it, just <laughs> pump all the time. What I don't like about it, oh, I don't, I don't really have anything. You have a hard time finding the washroom here. Yeah, that's the only thing. So that's, only thing that's, I don't like. that, that's the thing that you don't like about it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's and when well, I, you found it that one time. But Prodigy totally right. took care of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was it was yeah. horrible. You, yeah. He threw up. Yeah. yeah. yeah that was he me. threw up. That was mm -hmm. No, that's what I said. He threw oh, up. I thought you said me. No, no. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, no. <laughs> well, you guys have been around for a year. What's like one of your most memorable moments? Like one of your most favorite moments? Um, I got, oh, I got one. You got one? Yeah. yeah. Real quick. When, when I saw, uh, MBK brushing his teeth outside of a horse trough. <laughs> remember, remember the rodeo we did? Yeah, I remember We did a rodeo, rodeo in Gary, Indiana, yeah. and I saw, like, just jailhouse style. Just <laughs> I was like, dude, you know there's, like, a washroom, you can go inside, they have people that, you know, help you out. No. It was funny. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, MBK. How you driving? And you know, it's really kind of interesting that we we saw him do that in Gary, Indiana, because you know, Gary, Indiana, that's where they invented the toothbrush. Because if it was invented anywhere else, it would have been called the teeth brush. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you know, the icons, we've been together for a year, but I've been doing this, I, I've been in this business for eight years. Uh, Max, you've been in this uh, business for what? Like 13. 13 years. Jeff, like Jeff's been, you know, Jeff, Jeff Troy, my favorite wrestler of all time. You've got to see this guy in action. If he would just gain 20 more pounds, you this guy's try. unstoppable. I know. It's the Red Bull. It's the Red Bull. Oh, chips. We've been, we've been around a long time. We've traveled up and down the highways. We've, we've wrestled everywhere. We've, I've, I've been champion different places for with different tag team partners. Max is, you know, has done his thing. Yeah, he's well, I'm his a tag champion right now. He's a tag champion right now. This one year thing now, we've been around forever and we're gonna be around forever. When all you when all you little guys are all gone, <laughs> an icon will still be here. Raising a pinky. I know that one. Yeah, right? <laughs> that one doesn't even live around the this one doesn't even live in Illinois. Yeah, look at that one's profile picture. Yeah, that one right there tries to steal my gimmick all the time. Ooh, I know him. Ooh, yeah. gimmick infringement. Gimmick yeah. infringement. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, he's got the uh, you know same first name. Yeah, mm -hmm. Is he any furries? I know. <laughs> Furries! No, okay. Anyway. 
Well, we always ask this question to all our guests on the show, and this is going to be interesting coming from you guys. What advice do you give to somebody new that wants in the business or somebody that basically just that, wants in or is new? Oh, oh, can I, can I, can I have first word? You get a first word. I only have one word. Listen. Huh. I say have fun. No matter what goes on out there, no matter what we say, no matter what these people say, no matter what you say, no matter what this Cody kid says, just I have a good time. You know, I'm, I'm really a professional actor. I've been in 35 different stage and theater shows in the past few years. What I say, I do, I actually do. And if I would listen to anybody who told me I couldn't do it, where would I be? Nowhere. Don't listen to anybody. Don't just go out there and have a good time. If they say you can't do it, shut them up and prove them wrong. Well, until you meet us. And then, <laughs> and then you'll be pushed right back down the ladder. But, you know, just have a good time with it. That's, yeah, that's I, think, I think the most important thing about wrestling, and a lot of people a lot of people lose this as they get into the business because everybody starts becoming about themselves. Have fun. That's what we do. That's why what we do works. And that's why what you're doing does not work. We're icons, we're here, we're whooping ass, and we're having fun doing it. Is that the pizza? That it has to be pizza. And he's uh, been knocking for a good minute. No, that's that's Johnny Draven calling, you know, he... Hi, he, Draven. Hi, Draven. Hi, Draven. It's him calling. He wants us to pick him up that Happy Meal. They have the Puss in Boots toys, and you know how he is when he's yeah. coming and all that stuff. <laughs> Mom does get cranky. Yeah, exactly. And another thing is, Queen Mother, we're all friends. We are all equal. There's no icon who is better than anybody else. There's no icon who is below anybody else. That's why this works. We are a cohesive unit. We don't do internal fighting like most of you do. We don't stab each other in, in the back. We believe in one of another. I believe this guy right here should have been world champion a long time ago. I believe this guy right here, forget indie wrestling. This guy right here is going places. Just like, just like you think, oh, you guys are going someplace. He really is. You're gonna see this face. You're gonna see this face sometime, and that, 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 well, that right there, right. that Time right there is a shoot. So, just, it's you're not gonna get a better group of people than us, man. Well, last question, guys. What do you like about wrestling now, and compared to the way it used to be? Actually, I like wrestling then. More so than I do now. What are you talking about? Chicago indie wrestling or are you talking about television wrestling? Both. It usually all leads into one another at one point. Honestly, old, even though I'm young, no, older, because when I was watching it, it was just more involved, more everything, more crowd. I mean, it was just, it felt more pure. Yeah, yeah. wrestling Wrestling now is... Wrestling you know, now sucks. It sucks. It's garbage. It sucks. Indie this wrestling is garbage. Sucks. This sucks. Yeah, this no, no, sucks. No, no. <laughs> yeah. that, that sucks. Uh, it, 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 there's, there's nothing out there that really piques my interest. I mean, aside of the few guys that I, I, I mark out for, because I, I am a mark at heart. We all are. Yeah, we, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't be in this business if we... If, especially independent wrestling. You wouldn't be in here if you were a mark. Mm -hmm. If you weren't a mark. We don't do it for the money. <laughs> no, that's for sure. Ooh. Yeah, no. I mean, we we we're not we, we don't get paid five hundred dollars per show like some other people claim they do. What we do is we do it because we love it. We do it because we're we get having paid. Fun. We just don't get paid the big money. Exactly. Like we don't get paid the dogs big. and yeah, stuff. just we we don't get paid the big money. We do it because we love it. Why wrestling nowadays needs a wake up call. They need something like the Hollywood icons. They need us. You need us. You need to hate us. You need to love us. You need to respect us. You need everything from us. And I know, oh, no, we don't. You guys are losers. You guys suck. You but do it you know for the what? love. You're not a real wrestler. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's the reason I'm looking down on all of you right now. And you're looking up at all of us. Dinky's right up. I know you all don't like me. You all hate me. You all hate us because you want to be us. Simple as that. Simple as that. Oh. Hi, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Phil. <laughs> uh, I thought it was funny. Oh, uh, yeah. He's, Bravo. You know. Enjoy your tour bus. Sell out. <laughs> Ooh. Pinky's raised on that one. Yeah. Exactly. Well, fans, <laughs> this has been a true treat having these three guys here. No, no, the treat's been all, the treat's been everybody watching this video. You ain't seen nothing yet. You want to, 
You know how to spell entertainment? You know how to spell great wrestling? You want to you wanna know how to spell simply the greatest ever? That's little I, capital C, capital O, capital N, capital S. Icons. You heard the fans. Throw a pinky up for the Hollywood icons. In the meantime, fans, stay tuned and keep your eyes on these guys. You can't miss them. Till then, peace.